Well, here's my um, Dumeril ground boa cage. And I, I changed these baiting mounts because he had some mites I had to take care of. And I had him I have him for like ten months now, like all my other snakes. And he had he didn't eat for eight months when I got him. Fuck. So he's starting to eat again. I just swimmed him a while ago. You can see him in here. He's a real nice snake, a real good one. Real good pet. Eats once a week. And what I realized about Surinam, no, uh, not Surinam, I'm Dumeril, ground boa is they like to hunt in their own cage, in their own ground, you know. So if you have problems feeding them, mice or rats, whatever, try putting the um, mice or rat in front of his nose so he can smell it and put it on the one side of the cage. That's what I did and so far it worked for him. He's a real good snake. I like him. His name is Doomy. And he's about a year old or almost a year old. Bought him from a pet shop for two hundred dollars. He's twenty nine inches long and this is his cage. This bedding is pretty good. He likes to hide in it. He's a ground boy, you know. He goes underneath the bedding, hides. I got him a hide in here. It's not the best hide for now, but it's this one I got, I made it from, I have hamsters I breed, to feed uh, hamsters I breed for my snakes and they eat hamsters or mice and this little wheel that my hamsters run, uh, they run on, I just cut it up, a hole in it, you can see it over here, it's oh, fucking light, there's a hole in it and that's where you can go in and hide and I got a water bowl over here, the water bowl is a little bit too small now, for him. he got bigger and he changed it out. And the cage ain't that big, but it's big enough for this snake right now. And you see, he's gonna go underneath the bark again. He likes to hide. And that's the video about Doomy. Alright, peace out.